Hello all. In my earlier video, we have discussed on a Jablonsky diagram. We had uh, touched upon all the various electronic transitions possible or energy transformations possible when a molecule or an electron absorbs UV visible radiation. Now, uh, the various, there are various ways by which the energy absorbed are dissipated and uh, two ways are the radiative transitions and non-radiative transitions. Today, I shall, uh, we shall focus on the non-radiative transitions. Now, you know that there are three types of non-radiative transitions, the uh, vibrational relaxation, the internal conversion and the intersystem crossing. Now, the slide before you shows the various energy levels, okay. Now, S0 st st uh, stands for the singlet ground state, S1 singlet excited state, S2 second excited state of the singlet electronic state, etc. And within each energy level, there are various vibrational energy levels too, okay. Now, uh, uh, when an electron or a molecule absorbs photons when it is irradiated with light, the electron or molecule will uh, absorb the light and the, the energy will be used for the excitation of the same from ground state to excited state, higher level. Now here in this picture, you can see that the electron has been excited from the ground state to the higher vibrational level of second singlet excited state. Now we know that no matter or uh, no molecule or no electron remains in the excited state for long. As soon as it has reached a higher energy level, it will try to uh, come down to lower energy levels. Now one of the ways by which the energy can be dissipated is by coming down to the lower vibrational levels of the uh, lower next lower excited state. So here the electron which was in the second excited state, singlet excited second excited state has lost some amount of energy and has come down to the uh, lower vibrational levels of the first excited state. Okay, so here the uh, transformation has happened between two different ex uh, excited states, electronic states of the same multiplicity, that is important, okay, of the same multiplicity. Now this excited, second excited state, first excited state, they are all in the singlet state. Now this transformation of uh, electron, the molecules from a higher electronic state to a lower electronic state is called internal conversion. Now internal conversion happens between two different electronic states, excited states, when these vibrational levels of these excited states overlap. Okay? Now the uh, after once it reaches the lower, I mean, to the second, I mean, lower excited state, from there again it can lose energy and then come down to the ground state of the excited state. And this, see, the green, green transformation happens within the same electronic state, while the orange one happens, that is, the internal conversion happens between two electronic states. So internal conversion happens when the two electron vibrational energy levels of the two excited states overlap. Now when the electrons which are in higher vibrational level of a single of an excited state comes down to the lowest uh, ground st uh, lowest vibrational level of the same excited state it is called vibrational relaxation. Now, vibrational relaxation and both vibrational relaxation and internal conversion happens by the transfer of kinetic energy acquired by the absorption of photons 
to the other molecules around the excited molecule. Okay, so the kinetic energy which has been acquired by the molecule during excitation is transferred to the surrounding molecules, thereby the excited molecule loses some amount of energy. Now, both internal conversion and vibrational relaxation happens in the same time frame. Alright, they have the same time frame. They happen with, with within 10 raised to minus 14 to 10 raised to minus 11 seconds. Now, vibrational relaxation can also happen when the electrons or molecules are excited from the ground state, single ground state, it goes to the first excited state, higher vibrational level of the first excited state and from there it comes down to the lowest vibrational level of the first excited state. So, vibrational relaxation happens within the same electron state while internal conversion happens between two electron states and both these happen I mean, in both these cases, the multiplicity of the electron is conserved. So, this, uh, 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 this can be uh, considered, uh, this is a uh, allowed transition. Okay, uh, quantum mechanically allowed transition. Another way also for uh, vibration and relaxation is from the lowest vibration level of the ground state to the highest vibration level of the ground state and from there it comes down to the ground state dissipating energy, okay, kinetic energy. So these two uh, radiations happen immediately after the absorption. That's why it happens between 10 to the power of minus 14 to 10 to the power of minus 11 seconds. And both the cases, the multiplicity of the electrons are conserved. Okay, now the internal conversion does not happen between the first excited state and the ground state because of the large energy gap between the two. The internal conversion is observed when the molecule or the electrons are excited to higher energy levels, that is S2 and above. Right, so, this is in brief what we have discussed now, internal conversion and vibrational relaxation. So, internal conversion happens from higher electronic state to lower electronic state when the energy levels overlap. And vibrational relaxation happens within the same electronic state and both happens in the same time span immediately after the absorption of light. Now there is the, we have said there is one more uh, uh, non-radiational transition and that is the intersystem crossing. One more thing, the internal conversion and the vibration relaxations are not the final transition. We can see here the internal conversion comes down and then uh, I mean to the low of uh, uh, higher vibration relax and uh, vibration energy level from there it comes down to the lowest vibrational energy level. From here, other transitions are possible. See here, still they are in the excited state. Okay? But here, when it is within the same, I mean, in the ground state vibration levels, it is the final transition. So, internal conversion and vibration relaxation are not the final transition. Many more are there. Now, you can have phosphorescence, fluorescence, etc. That is radiative transition. And also, intersystem crossing. We shall see how intersystem crossing happens. Now, uh, in intersystem crossing, what happens is the uh, multiplicity of the electron is changed. Now, intersystem crossing happens between the singlet excited state and the triplet excited state. And uh, during this uh, transition of the electron or the molecule from singlet state to triplet state, the multiplicity of the electron is changed. So, this is uh, uh, actually a quantum mechanically forbidden transition. 
and uh, this is the slow pro this is a slow process internal conversion i mean intersystem crossing you can see here it moves from the singlet state to the singlet excited state to the triplet excited state now this this can happen if the energy levels of the singlet excited state and the triplet excited state overlap that's important these energy levels must overlap and this is a slow process and since it involves the uh, uh, change of the multiplicity it is a forbidden transition okay it is uh, 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 it is a transition that is based strictly on i mean it's not based on the electronic selection rules it is forbidden as per the electronic selection rules however this is made possible by coupling the vibrational factors into the selection rules you will know more about it in the quantum mechanical aspects now once it reaches the triplet state at a higher vibrational level of the triplet excited state it comes down to the uh, lowest in a, uh, vibrational level of the triplet excited state via vibrational relaxation all right so here also vibrational relaxation is possible now from here again what is what can happen this is not in the ground state this is in the excited state this can come down to the ground state by phosphorescence that is a radiative transition all right and this is a slow process that is the intersystem crossing is a slow process it takes 10 to the power of minus 8 to 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds when compared to Inter internal conversion and vibrational relaxation this uh, slow may be because of the change in the multiplicity of the electron the electron spin has to be changed all right so these are the various uh, non radiative transitions internal conversion vibrational relaxation and intersystem crossing hope this is clear to you if you have uh, any more clarifications to be done, please feel free to ask me. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much.